we'll go there. Give us a little bit extra. Oh, that's dropped us right back into fifth. But we've got a little bit of extra tire life compared to these guys ahead, so now we've just got to go for it. We've got three laps. What's going on guys, my name is Matidio and welcome back to Gran Turismo Sports and another episode of Manufacturers Cup Fun. Uh, this time we are in the Group 4 cars and we are at the Alsace Village course. Um, we had a lot of fun here last time. Are you fucking kidding me dude? Come on! Are you fucking kidding me? That's fucking horseshit! <laughs> Uh, but this time is a little bit different because as you can see on the left hand side left hand top corner with all the names We have fuel consumption and tire wear on so That could add a little bit of an extra facet to it I've had a few races with it which I haven't had much success and honestly I'm not a fan of it But we'll see what we can do because I like this circuit and uh, I'm driving for Aston Martin as well So that should be fun, but as always we have to go and qualify. So let's get to it Okay guys here we go First lap in anger. Uh, my uh, best lap in practice was uh, a mid 202. But I'm not sure how good that is. I think I've gone a lot faster in uh, previous runs around here in the Audi TT. So, again, like I said, I'm not sure how that stacks up. I suppose we'll find out at the end of this lap. Because the first set of uh, laps should be coming through any time now. Wasn't good. 204. Wow, I was expecting faster. There we go, 2027. This isn't going to be anywhere near good enough. It's a terrible lap. So there we have it then, guys. Fourth place. Uh, not a very good lap at all. Like I said, I'm a good 1.3 seconds off my best. I I've I've gone faster than the pole time, but that's the problem. You only got pretty much what it's pretty much one shot qualifying now because after that first lap, your tyres are completely shot, and some if you're really lucky, if you get up really quickly, then maybe you can get in and get another set of boots on and have another go, but. Yeah, um, one of the reasons I'm not a big fan of um, of the of the tire wear, or the at least the amount of tire wear they put on it. I think they should wind it down a little bit. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Um, we'll see what happens. There's definitely going to be a pit stop in there. Um, how that's going to play out, I'm not too sure. Um, I might try and fuel save a little bit through the first section so I can push towards the back end when I've got a new set of tires on. But uh, we'll see what happens. Okay then guys, here we go. Oh, it's taking me all the way out there. Oh, 
Off we go. And I've got an NSX right up my ass. Probably due to the fact that I've wound the power down just a tad, just to save a bit of fuel for this first run. I want to try and be as smooth as possible, conserve those tyres. Third. This Ferrari's had a bit of bother through there. As have we. If I can get to the end of lap five, I'll be all right, I think. Might be able to catch some guys out. We've got to conserve the fuel and the tyres. I think I'm all right as things stand with fuel, but it's the tyres we've got to watch out for now. See, maybe we just want to break a little bit earlier because in this car, from what I've seen in quali, it's the fronts that take the big pounding around here. I think maybe a front limited circuit. So, like I said, we just got to conserve what we have even if that means just maybe holding station a little bit with this guy be patient now and maybe catch him towards the back end when we have a bit more tire life if we can go a little bit longer If he makes a mistake and it drops into our lap, then we're going to have to take it. Also got to be very gentle with your throttle inputs. Okay, on fuel.
know what I mean? The fronts are very much the set of tyres to look out for them and look after. I don't know, first place is just really, really fast or he's taking a bit of a devil may care attitude just using whatever life he's got in those tyres get to the pit stop and go again and I made the same boo boo he did going flat through there I have to lift a little bit next time. See how his tyres are completely going now. I bet he might duck into the pits. There he goes. So we're up to second. So we got this lap and the next lap and then we're in. We're in the end of the next lap. In the lap number five. Because this will be the halfway point. If we can get past that, I think we've done pretty well so far. Fuel-wise, we're looking very, very good. The temptation would be to maybe turn the fuel up a little bit at this point, but I'm going to stick to the plan. see how it pans out if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't but I know the rear end of my car is probably a, a bit more stable than that Lamborghini he already had a big off so he's definitely taken some life out of his tires but we just really don't have an answer to the guy ahead at the moment I imagine he'll be in at the end of this lap. And the guy behind is definitely catching. But he's ducked off into the pits, as has the leader. So we have inherited the lead now. Right, this would be where we turn the engine up. Try and have as fast an in-lap as we possibly can. easy on these tyres, you can see how much those fronts have just really gone off. So we're going to have to be cautious more than anything else, but at the same time bleed out every last bit of performance we can. Oh, this thing really doesn't want to get turned in now. point it's kind of like just driving in the wet almost and the lead is already on our arse already so we had a very quick pit stop if he has a run on me I'm not going to fight him there's no point I don't think I'm racing him at this point and we don't have the tire life to fight him I know he has a new set of boots on. Oh, he was on the outside. I didn't even see him. 
This thing has terrible blind spots. It really does. I can bet I can like I can see a bit of him. Right, we're in at this lap. Right then, get those tires changed. We'll go there. Give us a little bit extra. Oh, that's dropped us right back into fifth. But we've got a little bit of extra tire life compared to these guys ahead, so now we've just got to go for it. We've got three laps. Full tank. But it's going to be important not to try and push too much. I think these two may help me out with their squabbling. Got him there. Job done. an absolutely stellar outlap. I think it's only a matter of time before we get this guy. We're not going to do it now. We're going to make him think about it a little bit. First of all, Don't need to push him too hard, we've got plenty of time, plenty of tyre life. Eventually I think his car is just going to let him down a bit. And just give us our opportunity. And there it was. You want to give me the outside, bro? I'll take the outside. Sorry, bro. I didn't see you. <laughs> it's the only thing with this Aston Martin. I cannot see diddly shit out of my mirrors so I don't know if he's with me or or not in second place has just had a big accident First place is very much gone. Ooh. 
Whoa, back in, trying to get away there. We've just gone purple. We're starting to get the Lamborghini behind, which is good. and up that run may have cost me the chance at the fastest lap. We'll see though. Uh, it did, but there we go. Fastest Aston Martin, fastest Brit, um, the guy ahead was just, you know, I couldn't keep up with it. There was no chance. I just didn't have the pace, unfortunately. I think it maybe down to that BMW a little bit because that car is so, so good. I know um, the last time I won, I won in a BMW M4. So, yeah, but, you know, like I said, he, halfway through um, what I, I assume is his outlap, he was right on the back of me. So... He had a very, very quick pit stop. Even though it's a very, very short pit lane as well, it's still a very quick pit stop. Uh, but I'm happy with that. It was a good result, I think. A good result overall. And I think the strategy sort of worked. We had the tyre life at the end. It played out how I wanted to. Just not in relation to the leader. But he was very, very quick. So I don't think we were going to be catching him. I think it's just a case he was just a quicker, he's just a quicker driver than me. I can hold my hands up and say that. Uh, but there we go. Second place. Pretty good result, I'd say. And uh, Best result for Aston Martin. Still not a fan of the whole fuel and, and tyre wear thing. I think we maybe need to dial it back just a little bit. But um, overall, I'm relatively happy with it. It was a good result for us today. Um, but uh, yeah, that is the end of today's episode, guys. So um, thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Uh, if you did enjoy, would like to see more... Um, uh, Gran Turismo or racing content from myself then make sure you hit that like button and subscribe uh, but again guys thank you everybody so much for watching take care and as always I will catch you in the next video peace